the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. So we welcome Elizabeth and Nathaniel here today, and we ask you, what name do you give your child? Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, Isaac Alami. Alayami. Okay, let's, well, I'll take those two. I think I'll do it. That's bad. I think I'll pass, right? <laughs> So what do you ask of God's church? So you've asked to have your child baptized. In doing so, you are accepting the responsibility of training him in the practice of his faith. It will be your duty to bring him up to keep God's commandments as Christ taught us. By loving God and our neighbor, do you clearly understand what you're undertaking? And God, parents, are you, telling, are you ready to help the parents of this child in their duty as Christian parents? I know you are. Okay. Isaac, Aleyamai, uh, okay? The Christian community welcomes you with great joy. Boy, your eyes are wide open there now. <laughs> In his name I claim you for Christ our Savior by the sign of the cross. And I'll trace the sign of the cross on your forehead, and I invite your parents and godparents to do the same. So you guys come over. You got masks on. You're okay. That's right. So do you want to do that on your brother's head? Do this like, put a, just put a, no, right there on his forehead. There you go. There you go. God bless you. Okay, we're going to have our little readings for today. It's not Mass, but we have our readings, okay? From Scripture. Reading from the prophet Isaiah. Listen to me, O coastlands. Pay attention, you peoples from far away. The Lord called me before I was born. While I was in my mother's womb, he named me. He made my mouth like a sharp sword. In the shadow of his hand, he hid me. He made me a polished arrow. In his quiver, he hid me away. And the Lord said to me, you are my servant, Israel in whom I will be glorified. But I said, I have labored in vain. I have spent my strength for nothing and vanity. Yet surely my cause is with the Lord and my reward is with God. And now the Lord says, who, who formed me in, in the womb to be his servant, to bring Jacob back to him and that Israel might be gathered to him. For I am honored in the sight of the Lord, and my God has become my strength. He says, It is too small a thing that you should be my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob and to restore the services of Israel. I will give you as a light to the nations so that my salvation may reach to the ends of the earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our psalm for the day, of course, this is the feast day. We brought the feast day, and this is the St. John's Day, right? So this is the feast of, this week's feast of St. John the Baptist. That reading is taken from that. And the beautiful Psalm 139. So the response is, I praise you, for you I am wonderfully made. I praise you, for I am wonderfully made. O oh Lord, you have searched me and known me. You know when I sit down and when I rise up. You discern my thoughts from far away. You search out my path on my lying down and are acquainted with all my ways. I praise you, for I am wonderfully made. For it was you who formed my inner parts. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you. For I am wonderfully made. I praise you, for I am wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works, that I know them well. My frame was not hidden from you. When I was being made in secret, 
woven in the depths of the earth. I praise you, for I am wonderfully made. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Ephesians. I, the prisoner of the Lord, in the Lord, implore you to lead a life worthy of your vocation. Bear with one another charitably, in complete selflessness, gentleness, and patience. Do all you can to preserve the unity of the Spirit by the peace that binds you together. There is one body, one Spirit, just as you were all called into one and the same hope when you were called. There is one Lord, one faith, one baptism, and one God who is Father of all, over all through all and within all. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So please stand now as we offer our gospel for the day. And the gospel is from the gospel of Matthew. When the Pharisees heard that Jesus had silent the Sadducees, they got together and to disconcert him, one of them put a question, Master, what is the greatest commandment of all? Jesus said, you must love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the greatest in the first commandment. The second resembles it. You must love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments hang the whole law and the prophets also. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Lord Jesus Jesus Christ. Christ. All right, just have a seat for a second now. I just want to say a few little things here. It's such a great joy to have all of you here today. We go back a long ways, this family. And I'm so happy to see everybody today. And when I heard that this is going to happen, I said, what a perfect day. The Feast Feast of St. John the Baptist and the readings are so beautiful and all that for this day. And of course, Isaac here, little Isaac, you know, he's had his his spirit, his physical birthday in a family, home in a family. But now he's going to have a spiritual birthday today. We sometimes, I don't know how many people remember or remember like their baptisms. It's very important, right? Just like the physical birthday is the spiritual birthday, which should be as important because now he's been, he's been brought into the family of God, into the Catholic Church, into the Christian community. And that's so beautiful. He becomes a, a son of God. We all become sons and daughters of God. We die to our sins. We rise, you know, with, the, with Christ Jesus. You know, that's so beautiful. Becoming a part of a family around the world, which is so beautiful, that goes all the way from Nigeria to Newfoundland, all around the world, and Rome, and everywhere else, right? Such a history there. And during this, this, during this baptism, we'll have a little, uh, I'll talk a little bit about the, the ceremony and the different things that we use. One of the things of the day, you know, it's so beautiful. I praise you, God, for I am wonderfully made. When I was being fashioned, secret, put together in my mother's womb, I praise you from the wonder of my being. You know, so what a great gift this little fellow is to all of you and your family today. You know, we thank God for the great gift of this little boy here today. We will also, John the Baptist was a great uh, prophet. A prophet wasn't someone who predicted the future. He was someone who, brought, who spoke for God. He was the voice of God in our world, in his world. And many of them weren't treated very well, and some were killed for, you know, proclaiming the truth, which is very difficult sometimes to do in our world today. So, you know, uh, we, we were talking about that this morning in the Mass here. We had online stream Mass about being the voice of God. That's what a prophet is called to be. So when we have the oil of sacred chrism, we're called to be priests. We are called to be, everybody has, has praying to God and offering sacrifice to God at Mass. We're called to be a prophet, which is a voice of God in the world. We're, 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 part, we're part of the kingship. We're to be shepherds. All the early kings of the of the scriptures were shepherds for good reason. They were attending their sheep. They were looking after the neglected, looking after the people who were the sheep who were sick. That's what shepherds do. They protect the sheep. So anyway, that's the wonderful thing about being a king in the Old Testament. So there's a lot of beautiful symbolisms, the white garment symbolism of new the new beginnings. So beautiful, right? So as we go forward now as for our baptism, we will sing together the Litany of the Saints. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. Saint Joseph. 
pray for us. St. John the Baptist, pray for us. St. Peter and St. Paul, pray for us. St. Isaac, pray for us. All holy men and women, pray for us. I'm going to invite you, the parents and the godparents, to kind of keep a circle around here and uh, all that. And, he, and our man can come up here too. Let him bring him up here. And, yeah, and anybody wants to take some pictures, you know, you can come up and take some pictures while this is going. That's good. You guys go over there. You got masks on, you'll be fine. And maybe what you can do is stand over there so the people there can see what's on the go, especially those on live streaming and stuff. We can move. Good, excellent. Okay. Uh, and for the pictures, the parents can move down your mask if you want for pictures and stuff. You'll be okay. Okay, we're all one bubble anyway there. Almighty, we're first our, our first uh, prayer is a prayer of exorcism. Not a scary thing, but it's a whole idea. It's an ancient prayer. We ask the Lord to, to protect this child from all evil, whatever that is. Almighty and ever-living God, you sent your only Son into the world to cast out the power of Satan, spirit of evil, to deliver us from the kingdom of darkness and bring us into the splendor of your kingdom of light. We pray for this child. Set him free from original sin. Make him temple of your glory and send your Holy Spirit to dwell within him. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Now we'll have the blessing of the water. God, you give us grace through sacramental signs, which tell us of the wonders of your unseen power. In baptism, we use your gift of water, which you have made a rich symbol of the grace you give us in this sacrament. At the very dawn of creation, your spirit breathed on the waters, making them the wellspring of all holiness. The waters of the great flood, you made a sign of the waters of baptism, that made an end of sin and a new beginning of goodness. Through the waters of the Red Sea, you led Israel out of slavery to be an image of God's holy people, to set them free from sin by baptism. In the waters of the Jordan, your son was baptized by John and anointed with the Spirit. Your son willed that water and blood should flow from his side as he hung upon the cross. After his resurrection, he told his disciples, Go out and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and Son and the Holy Spirit. Father, look now with love upon your church and unseal for us the fountain of baptism. By the power of the Holy Spirit, give to this water the grace of your Son, so that in the sacrament of baptism all who have been created in your likeness may be cleansed from sin and rise to a new spirit of innocence by water and the Holy Spirit. And we ask, Father, with your Son to send the Holy Spirit upon the waters of this font. May all who are buried in Christ in the death of baptism rise also with him to a newness of life. And we ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. In our profession of faith, what do we believe? Now we have a baptism, bringing a person into the church. What do we believe? We say our creed. What are the statements of what we believe as a Christian? So we will, respond, we will remember and recall our own baptism by answering the questions. So dear parents and godparents, you have come to present this child for baptism. By water and the Holy Spirit, he is to receive the gift of new life from God who is love. On your part, you must make it your constant care to bring him up in the practice of the faith. See that the divine life which God gives him is kept safe from sin to grow always stronger in his heart. If your faith makes you ready to accept this responsibility, renew now the vows of your own baptism, reject sin, profess your faith in Christ Jesus. This is the faith of the church. This is the faith in which this child is to be baptized. So I'll ask you to respond, I do, to the following question. Do you reject sin so as to live in the freedom of God's children? I, I do. do. Do you reject the glamour of evil and refuse to be mastered by sin? I, I do. do. Do you reject Satan, father of sin and prince of darkness? I do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was I born do. of the Virgin Mary, was crucified, died, and was buried, rose from the dead, and seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do. This is our faith. This is the faith of the Church. We are proud to profess it in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Elizabeth, Nathaniel, is it your will now that Isaac Alayime? I'll, I'll do the best I can. <laughs> okay. Is it your will now that Isaac be baptized in the faith of the church to which we all have professed with you? So hold them over. Isaac Olaimi, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. We have the anointing with this holy chrism. The chrism is an oil. Oil is a beautiful symbol of strength. When we burn it, it gives off heat and energy. So this beautiful oil, which is consecrated by the bishop, uh, during the usually during the Easter time before Easter, uh, is a beautiful. It's used in uh, the ordination of priests. It's used in certainly it was used in the Old Testament to anoint kings and prophets and priests. So that's a beautiful symbol today. So God the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ has freed you from sin and given you new birth by water and the Holy Spirit and welcomed you into His holy people. He now anoints you with the chrism of salvation. As Christ was anointed priest and prophet and king, so may you live always as a member of your body, sharing everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Isaac, you have become a new creation, have clothed yourself in Christ. See in this white garment you are wearing, the outward sign of your Christian dignity. With your family and friends to help you by word and example, bring that dignity unstained into the everlasting life of heaven. Amen. I ask the godparents now to light the candles. There. The baptismal candle. That's it. There we go. Receive the light of Christ. Beautiful symbol of the of Jesus, the light of the world. This candle, of course, is blessed during the Easter Vigil. From darkness into light. Parents and godparents whose light is entrusted to you to be kept burning brightly. This child of yours has been enlightened by Christ. He is to walk always as a child of the light. May he keep the flame of faith alive in his heart. And when the Lord comes, may he go out to meet him with all the saints in the heavenly kingdom. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord Jesus made the deaf hear and the mute speak. May he soon touch your ears to receive his word and your mouth to profess it. In Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Amen. And we'll have some prayers now for our for Isaac. Father, the mystery of your death and resurrection, bathe this child in light, give Isaac the new life of baptism, and welcome him into your holy church, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Through baptism and confirmation, make Isaac your faithful follower and a witness to your gospel, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. Lead Isaac by a holy life to the joys of God's kingdom, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Make the lives of Isaac's parents and godparents examples of faith to inspire this child, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Keep Isaac's family always in your love, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Renew the grace of our baptism in each one of us, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray together the prayer that Jesus gave us as a, as a Christian community family around the world. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. And a blessing for our fathers, especially on this beautiful Father's Day. God the Father, through his son, the Virgin Mary's child, has brought joy to all Christian mothers. We'll do that first. As they see the hope of eternal life shine on their children, we bless you, the mother of this child. We now thank God for the gift of your child. May you be one with your child in thanking God forever in heaven. Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. God is the giver of all life, human and divine. May he bless you, the father of this child. 
You and the mother of the child will be the first teachers of your child in the ways of faith. May you be blessed, the best of teachers, bearing witness to the faith in what you say and do. In Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Amen. By God's gift through water and the baptism, we are reborn to everlasting life. In his goodness, may God continue to pour out blessing upon all of you present who are his sons and daughters. May you, God always make you faithful followers of and members of his holy people. May he send his grace upon all those who are gathered here. In Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. You have put on Christ in him you have been baptized. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. And we all welcome this beautiful child into our Christian community today. Nice. Yay. So, oh, you're clapping for your brother, right? Okay. Very good. All right.